Okay, dear student, how are you? Are you fine? How was the previous lesson? It was clear. I think you understand me. In our previous class, we have seen about the insects and also we have seen about metamorphosis of the insects. We see the two type of metamorphosis and also we see the life cycle of insects. I think you have understood me. Today, we have discussed about some economical important insects. Now, let us see together. Dear student, some insects are harmful and some of them are uh, useful. We see one by one some harmful insects. Harmful insects are the insect which is causing harm to human being and also a cattle. Let us see one by one. The insects like as a fly, army worm, major stock borer, and also the locusts are called harmful insects. They causing different harm activities on human beings and also cattle. If you take insect like as a fly, they causing a disease which is called trypanosomiasis to a human and also a disease which is called gandhi to a cattle. Dear student, be with me. And also, these insects are known as a vector. Vector means a disease carrier insect. They carrying disease causing germs. And the another one is we see about female Anopheles mosquito. Female Anopheles mosquito is a type of insect which is causing disease to human. They are a vector of plasmodium or the disease called malaria. The another one is housefly. Housefly is also a vector for a germ which is causing gastrointestinal disease. And the another harm aspect of insect is destructing crops or damaging crops. If you take the insect like If you take the insect like armyworm, maize stock borer, and the locusts, they damage uh, crops like maize, rice, teff, and so on. Dear student, now we see one by one about the insect which is called the SA fly and the armyworm. When we start from the first insect, which is called the SA fly, the SA flies are live along the edge of the lake and also the bank of the river. They cause a disease which is called trypanosomiasis in human and uh, gandhi in cattle. We can, we can control these insects by using different uh, controlling methods. The first controlling method of SSA fly is uh, spraying insecticide. Dear student, what does mean insecticide? If you try, I will give you a time to take on, uh, the time to think on the questions.
Okay, let us see together what does mean insecticide. Insecticide is a chemical used to kill or destroy a insects. Now we can use to control SSA fly, we can use a spraying insecticide. The second one is letting chickens to feed on the SSA fly. The third one is the third one is collecting the larva of SSA fly by hand. And also, the another method of controlling this SA fly is beating the trees or the affected area by a stick. By using these different methods, we can also control this SA fly. This one is a controlling method of SA fly. Now, we say something about armyworm. Army worm is not worm at all. It is the larva stage of night flying mouse. This larva stage is known as caterpillar. It is damaging uh, crops like sorghum, rice, teff, and uh, maize. They are called army worm because of they move in mass and also attack different mass of crops on a field. They named because of this army worm. They move in mass and also attack the field crops. Then we see the comparison of army worm larva, which is called caterpillar, and the adult. The caterpillar of army worm is feed on leaf. And the adult one is feed on nectar. The second difference between caterpillar and adult is their mouse party. The mouse party of caterpillar is biting mouse party, have biting mouse party. And the adult one have sucker mouse party. The another difference is this one is a hairy like structure, unusual shaped have unusual shape. And the adult one have a usual shape. It is all about the difference between the caterpillar and the adult of army wormy. They are different by their shape. The caterpillar have unusual shape and the adult one have a usual shape and also different by their mouse party. The mouse party of a caterpillar is beating the mouse party or they have a beating mouse party and the mouse party of the adult one is a sucker mouse party. Then now we see about social insects. Dear students, be with me. What is a social insect? What does mean a social insect? If you somebody asks you to define a social insect, how you define it? Let me, I give you one minute 
to think about this question. Okay, dear students, let us now define the word which is insect, social insects together. Social insects are the insects that live together in community or in colony. They are called a social insect. Let us see some example of social insects. If you take honeybee, ants and the termites, they are social insects because they live in colony. They live together in colony. Now we see some common characteristic of social insect. The first characteristic of a social insect is large population or colony. They consist high amount of members in their colony. The second one is elaborating nest. They prepare their own nest like ground or another holes on the uh, trees. The third one is communication. They communicate to each other through, diff uh, through different methods. It may be through dance or another mechanics. And the another one is division of work. And also, they are parental care. The another characteristic of social insect is parental care. And also, the last characteristic of social insect is protective their device or protective device. Now we see some example of social insect like honeybee. Honeybee is a social insect that make or produce honey. A group of honeybee consisting of three castes like us, kings, drones, and worker bee. Let us see one by one from starting the first caste of honeybee. The first caste of honeybee is called kings. Queen is a fertile female bee with a fully developed ovary. She lay egg in per day. For example, queen, queen bee is laying 2,000 egg per a day. There are two types of the egg she lay. The first one is fertilized egg and the second one is unfertilized egg. A fertilized egg is used for making a male or a drone and the unfertilized one is used for making a workers. Now we see the main function of queens. The main function of a queen is mating with several drones. Drones means a male bee. The second one is one queen live for live from three up to five years and also it takes 16 days for a queen bee from egg to emergency. The another one is when a queen bee die and become unproductive, a larva is selected and uh, feed on raw gel to become a new queen. Now we see another castes of honey bee. The second cast of honey bee is called worker bee. Worker bees are sterile female bees. This means they cannot reproduce or they cannot give their own offspring. Worker bees perform different activities in a hive. Now we see some activities of a worker bees in a hive. The first one is, in a hive, there are 20,000 up to 3,000 bees during winter and 60,000 up to 80,000 during a uh, winter. Nearly all of the bees in the hive are worker bees, except one queens and uh, hundreds of drones. Then. Summary is the busy time of a worker bee. And worker bees work their activities by period. They're using different period for doing their activities. They're doing all activities performed in their hive. Let us see a period of work of worker bee. 
the first three up the first one up to three days is a period work of cleaning a cell and incubation the three up to six day is for feeding older larva and from six up to nine from six up to ten day they feeding their younger larva from eight up to sixteen day they can receive honey from a field bees from 12 up to 18 days, they make bee wax and also cell building. And on the day 14, they can, they can form nectars and the pollen for age. This one is a period work of worker bees. Now we see the third class of worker bee, I mean the third class of honey bee. The third class of honey bee is called drones. Drones are a male bee which is made with a cune. There are 300 up to 3,000 drones in a half. Drone has a barbed sex organ, mating and then followed by days of their drone. Drone are made from unfertilized eggs, and the drone do not have a stanger. This means they cannot stanging. And honeybees are communicated through dance. There are two types of dance of honeybee. The first dance is called wiggle dance, which is a dance like number eight dance for locating the existence of food. And the second dance of honeybee is called round dance, a circular dance which they dance in their hip. This is all about the third cast of honeybee. Dear student, if you have any question, you will ask uh, you will ask me by our address using 8455 SMS. Now we see method of beekeeping. Method of beekeeping is the maintenance of honey bee in the heap by human. The maintenance of honey bee in the heap by human is called beekeeping. The second one is we see the meaning of bee have. Behave is an enclosed structure in which honeybees live and uh, raise their youngest. This structure is called honeybee hive. Now we see a type of honeybee hive. There are two types of honeybee hive, namely traditional or a fixed comb and uh, modern hive or hive with frame. They are different because their name is also indicating their difference. The first one is traditional honey, traditional have and uh, the second one is modern have. Let us see their difference one by one. Traditional have, frame are not movable and uh, modern one frames are movable. In traditional have, decrease yield, more bee wax and uh, less honey. In modern have, increase yield. This means high honey and uh, less bee wax. It is the difference between traditional have and the modern have. Now we see about importance of honey bees. Honey bees are very important to human beings. They give us different products like honey, pollen, bee wax, real gel, and uh, propyls. When we see the real gel, real gel is a milky substance which is changing ordinary bee into a queen. It is very powerful diet food. Now we see the second subtopic of our today lesson. Now we see the lesson summarize or we can summarize what we see up to now. Some insects are useful and some of them are harmful. If you take the useful insect we can take honeybee. Honeybee is the most important to human being because of this it is a useful insect. If you take a harmful insect like armyworm, maize stock borer mouse and also locust, they are called harmful insect. The second point is the insects like SA fly, house fly, mosquito, armyworm and the maize stock borer are harmful and the insect like honeybee are uh, useful. The second one is SA flies are causing a disease which is called the trypanosomiasis or in other named a sleeping sickness in human and also Gandhi to cattle. Then, armyworm and the maize stock borer are most damaging the crop. They damaging crop or they causing big damage to the crops. 
The another one is we talk about vectors. Vectors are a carrier organism which is causing a disease or disease causing carriers. A female Anopheles mosquito causes a malaria and some insects live together in colony are called social insects. For example, if you take honeybee, ants, termites, they are called social insects because they live together in community. And uh, we see the another point. Honeybees are social insects which produce honey and uh, live in heave. Heave is the home of honeybee. Now, the colony of honeybee consisting of three castes, namely queen, drones, and the workers. All the castes of honeybee have their own activity. Queens, a female bee with a fully developed ovary. The function of queen is laying the egg. She lays up to 2,000 eggs per a day. A fertile egg or a fertilized egg is grown or developed into a worker bee and a fertilized egg is developed into a drone. The this if if a worker, I mean, if a queen's days are unproductive, a larva is selected and feed on a food which is called royal gel to be a new queen. Now we see something about workers bee. Workers bee are a sterile female bee. A sterile means cannot reproduce, cannot reproduce. This means they cannot lay egg. And worker bees are stunging. Stunging means they die after stunging because of this. They stung only once. Now we see about drones. Drown bee is a male bee which is mating with a queen. They die after mating with a queen because they have a berber sex organ. A berber means a pointed sex organ. Now we see a definition of have. Have is enclosed structures that honeybees live in and raise their young. Now we see the last summary of our, uh, this unit. There are two types of have, namely traditional and the modern have. They are different. Their name is also indicating their difference. Traditional have is made up of a local plants like wood, eucalyptus, and also mud. And the second one, the modern have is made up of a metal frame. Now, honeybees are important to human beings. They give us honey, beeswax, real gel, and the propyls. Activity one. Compare and contract traditional and the modern heave. The second question is, command you to differentiate the difference between the three castes of honeybee, queens, drone, and uh, workers. I will give you only three minutes for doing this activity. Dear student, now we are starting new unit which is called Unit 6 and a new topic which is talking about environment. We are starting our new unit by defining the word which is called environment. As you know, environment is familiar to you. You know environment. Environment is everything surrounding us. It is including both living things and non-living things. If you take both wild animal and uh, domestic animal, they are living organism. They live in environment or they live in surrounding us. And also if you take different mountain, hills, rocks, and uh, different non-living things, they are also live in the environment. Environment is consisting both living things and uh, non-living things. The another one is habitat. Let us define habitat. Dear student, I will give you a chance to define habitat. What does mean habitat? Habitat is a place where organisms live in and reproduce. There are two types of habitat. We can classify habitat into two broad classes as terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat. Let us see one by one. Terrestrial habitat are a type of habitat which is a called a land habitat, which is called a land habitat. Or in simple, terrestrial habitat is land habitat. This habitat is including, including mountains, 
river, uh, mountains, rocks, soils, deserts, grassland, and so on. It is called generally terrestrial habitat. In simple English, we define habitat as a home of organism. And the second one is aquatic habitat. Aquatic habitat is known as a water habitat, a water habitat. There are two types of water habitats, which is called marine habitat, marine water, and uh, fresh water. Marine water is a type of water which is consisting high amount of dissolved salt. It is consisting high amount of dissolved salt, more than 70% uh, solution of salt. It is including a water body like ocean and sea. The second one is fresh water. Fresh water is a water body which is characterized by a less amount of dissolved salt. It's consisting less amount of salt because of this. Some water bodies like river, a stream, pond, they group it under fresh water. Dear student, let us summarize Unit 6. Unit 6 is talking about environment, habitat, terrestrial habitat, aquatic habitat, and also a type of aquatic habitat, marine water and the fresh water. Let us call something main point of this topic. Habitat is a place where organisms live in and uh, reproduce. And habitat is classified into two as terrestrial habitat and uh, aquatic habitat. Terrestrial habitat is a land habitat and uh, it is including mountains, rocks, hills, and also grassland. The second class of habitat is called aquatic habitat. Aquatic habitat is a water body or a water habitat, which is consisting two class, marine water and uh, fresh water. Marine water is a water body which is consisting high amount of dissolved salt. It is including sea and ocean. The second one is fresh water. Fresh water is a water body which is consisting less amount of salt. For example, we can take pond, a stream, lake, river, and so on. They are called fresh water. By the way, ocean is deeper than the sea and the lake is deeper than the river. Dear student, we have finished our today lesson. Have a nice time. Stay at home and study hard. See you. The lesson that I deliver on TV is not sufficient. You have to uh, study a lot of from your textbook and also using reference book. See you. Have a nice time.